we show you soldier surprises a lot. They're always wonderful. Tonight, we've got one. A little bit different, though. Instead of an American soldier coming home from overseas, we have a local man who decided to serve another country, Israel. And his parents have no idea that he's actually home. You're about to see the emotion-packed reunion. Fox 29 Brad Sass live in Philadelphia Spring Garden neighborhood. Brad. Yeah, Lucy, a few happy tears tonight. You may not know it, but a few thousand Americans actually serve in the Israeli Army. Tonight's fundraiser helps them, and for one local couple, it turned out to be a great big surprise. Amir and Stacy Goldman of Marion Station are about to get a big surprise in front of 800 people. Their son, 21 year old Matan, who, with about 3,000 other young American men and women, is serving in the Israel Defense Forces. He's been a soldier in the Army there for more than a year. Instead of using his acceptance to New York University, that he would put his lot in with the Jewish people defending his country that he'd become so attached to, and we're very proud of him. Tonight's fun fundraiser by the local chapter of Friends of the Israel Defense Forces raises money to help soldiers like Matan with college scholarships and living expenses. When they get to Israel, they don't have family, uh, they don't really have a place to go home to, so we provide assistance to these young soldiers. And unbeknownst to the Goldmans, they flew Matan home for tonight's event. He's backstage. I think my mom's going to cry. Part of his childhood was spent in Israel. What yeah, makes him want to serve there? I definitely felt uh, more meaningful, like more of a purpose in being in the army and that I'm really defending the Jewish people. His parents think they're going to chat with their son via Skype, but... <laughs> Well, oddly, uh -oh. Skype just wouldn't seem to work, so... I'm here. And following hugs and picture-taking, a thank you. Thank you, friends of the IDF, and for having me here tonight. Now, I guess the bad news is he is not staying very long. He flies back to Israel tomorrow. He will wrap up his commitment to the Army at the end of the year. From there, we're told that he will go on to college. Lucy, well, a pretty happy guy. Pretty tell happy you family. what, and his mom, I love that, letting out that little shriek. That was way better than <laughs> Skyping any time. Can't blame her. <laughs> exactly. Thank